What's going on my ninjas? My name is Sensei Carls and welcome back to another ninja vlog. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how to install the hood struts on an EVO 9 and this is the one thing that your JDM car needs because I guarantee you if you're like me you go to the track and it's a really windy day and you're trying to work under the hood and that thing is just flapping up and down in the wind and it's just not a good time and you guys need this. It is a $50 fix that I'm telling you it's going to change your life. Let's get into today's video. Thank you guys. Let's go. All right, you guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install these hood struts and get rid of this ugly thing, those old school JDM hood rods. Now, you're gonna need to take out this bolt here on the fender and then one of the top bolts, and then again the fender and then one of the top bolts on the hood. So we're gonna get rid of this guy. We no longer need it. This guy, it is gone. All right, guys, let's get started. So. Um, this awesome thing I got off of Amazon. I saw another youtuber that used it and I was like, you know what? I need this It's uh, it's about time. So it costs about 50 bucks. It comes with instructions It just shows some really dinky, you know Evo photos of the rods and everything being installed It's pretty self-explanatory, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk you guys through it So this bolt here on the fender you're gonna need I believe a 10 millimeter and then here on the hood You're gonna need a 11 mil so I'm just gonna take these off super quick and then this top one is probably the easier one of the two to just you know take off and put back on this bolt is just the stock hood bolt you're just gonna take this guy right here and you're gonna just place it with the top part and facing inwards you're gonna use that stock hood screw just screw it in by hand first it's kind of like a longer hole opening and so I just kind of made sure that it was touching the very bottom I scooted all the way up screwed it in and we're good to go so next we're gonna move on to the fender this one was a little bit trickier because this one has a little lip on the inside of like the fender if you can kind of see where my hands blocking there is a little lip where the aluminum fender kind of protrudes upwards now the first try I tried to just take like another little replacement bolt that had a lock nut washer on it and I wanted to use that but you know they were the same size and they were too short so I just had some random screws sitting around the house I went and grabbed this longer um, brass one test fitted it it fit perfect and I was like you know what this still isn't working so I had to do something to kind of elevate that little um, hinge if you will to pick it upwards a little bit more and then I found what worked I just used a couple rubber shims I just put those underneath there or you can use washers you know get creative use that ingenuity and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off off this top pin that top pin needs to come out so that you can place this on and then that pin needs to go inside the hole and then lock in so that that hood strut doesn't come out randomly so again I'm gonna take out that little pin with that pin I'm just gonna snap it in place and then that little pin here is gonna go inside the hole and that is going to secure that so that it can't just slip out super easy with just a hand pull so I'm just gonna hand check that real quick and do the same thing to the other side so there's this rubber shim then I'm gonna put that little mount I'm gonna just screw it in by hand and another note is make sure that that one is pointed down and in and not upwards and in like the one on the hood because the extension of it is going to be fully extended whereas if you turn it the other way it's going to have a little bit of tension and it's just i don't know i feel like it wouldn't make your life as easy so i'm gonna grab that carbon fiber strut i'm gonna again right here i'm taking off that little pin it's just a small hole that you got to get in and then that snaps in around the tube there it is insert in and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom so I'm gonna take out that little pin right there boom and then you just snap that in once you snap that in then you're just gonna make sure that that goes right back in the hole and I'm gonna slow it down right here for you and boom there it is there's that hole it's really tiny a little bit weird to get in uh, but that's it man I just kind of checked it by hand grabbed my tools again and I'm just gonna tighten these things up nice and hand tight just to make sure that there's no play tighten up both the fender and the hood once I'm done doing that I'm gonna go to the other side I'm gonna go ahead and do this fender first just make sure that it's tight I don't want to feel any play just because you know this is my hood and I don't need it flying off on the track or nothing and here we go we're getting rid of this old janky looking thing here and no longer do we need you sayonara and boom there we go 
So check it out, you guys. We got these. They're nice and solid. They're not going anywhere. And look, the hood's standing up by itself. Now, it's time to close it. Let's test it. Easy, smooth like butter. It's amazing the transformation that this makes. Closing the hood and not having to use that little hood rod to prop that up. It is night and day difference. I'm telling you, this is a $50 fix that is going to change your life. Look how easy that is. All I gotta do is just use one hand to close the hood now. No longer do I have to hold the hood with one hand, grab the hood rod and do that. And I just wanted to demonstrate that as soon as I pop the hood, it pops. The latch in the front is what secures it in. And then look at this. With one hand, I can just open the hood and lift it straight up and it is easy. You guys, I can't stress this enough. If you have an Evo or an old school JDM car, you need this. Now time for the money shots. Yo, what's going on my ninjas? Thank you guys so much for watching that install of installing the Lancer Evolution 9 hood struts or the dampers or whatever you want to call them, the thing that holds the thing up. So if you guys want to get rid of this old school janky JDM hook thing right here, Honestly, the last time I was at the track, we had a windy day. There was a lot of wind, rain, and this thing was just blowing around. My hood's bouncing up and down, and I thought the hood was gonna drop on my head, man. So, I'm super ecstatic and excited to install these carbon fiber hood dampeners. Now, you guys, this is a $50 thing that's gonna change your life. I can't tell you how much I love having nothing obstructing my engine right here so that when I'm working, um, if I'm changing my oil, if I'm doing anything like that, I have plenty of space now to move. And look at that, it cleans up the engine bay and who doesn't love some carbon fiber? So you guys, thank you guys so much. Oh. How easy is that? You guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you caught value, if you enjoyed what you watched and you learned something, or you just enjoyed yourself watching me, you know, install the video and that POV from the GoPro as well as the outside, um, hit that thumbs up for me, please. It helps the algorithm, it helps me grow the channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do me a favor, subscribe to the video because I'm on my journey to a thousand subs. I just hit 500 a couple videos ago. So if you guys are watching this now, you've probably already hit, I think like 120, 125, something like that, but you guys, it doesn't matter about those. I'm just here to inspire, to motivate, to entertain and just do what I love to do, which is videography and cars and my karate and all that other good stuff. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. But you guys, my ninjas, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Me and Eva say peace out. The next video you guys watch is gonna be Fall Bash, September 30th. If you're watching this video, comment and I'll give you guys ride along. In order to get a ride along, you need to be subscribed to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the TikTok, and subscribe to the Instagram. You guys, my ninjas, thank you so much, man. Much love. See you guys soon. Peace.